about the last few episodes, so I'll have to get to that as well. And apparently the Uh, hello everyone who will be watching now later on YouTube hidden here along with right here and yeah a bit of a different start and well uh, anyone who may be watching that from the start there yeah I forgot uh, was messing around with my scenes and accidentally forgot to unmute but yeah I'm I've fallen behind with uh, uploading these recordings again so I'll have to just upload a multiple of those before but uh, yeah uh, I said I said I would be grinding out a lot uh, between the, uh, between now and the last stream, and yeah, in that during that I discovered a lot of other things, some by manual, uh, some by uh, guide online to help things along. But uh, yeah, these these are just the screenshots I made of the things that I found. We got the whip expertise you know, shard. We found command steam. You can be a bit. Resist strike shard, and over here we had this is this is just going to be quick, the a, a, a black belt in the eye in the garden of silence that we could have gotten since we got the invert uh, shard. It says for me that the stream is paused. I'm sure that's only on my end, or is it for all the stream? Yeah, that's because you're, I'm that's, the game is being shared to you. This is me sharing my second stream screen to the stream. All right, you're stop checking. And yeah, over no, that was actually I should move this aside. No, not that. Come on, game. No, not. Ice cream. Let's see where is it being difficult. Um. Wait, why are these out of order? Okay, just move that up a bit. Not that much up. Come on. There we go. Um, That's on. No. Stop it. Strength argument. I didn't just put that in the complete opposite corner for a while, so I'd be looking the wrong way. Strength argument shards. And over here was a recipe in the tower. Or no, now that. A gadget band, a headset or a headpiece, flying edge a weapon in the towers, because that one is out enlarged for some reason. Again, also in the towers, pasta dish, and yeah, you can see another chest over there, which is this one here. Is that the. Wait, did I get that other one? Okay, I might have I might have missed a very obvious chest then, or I forgot to screenshot it. And let's see here. Come on, fish this recipe. I've I've sought these up because they're needed for the Granny's quest. 
Uh, are you still showing me the screenshots? Yeah, tornado slicer from this uh, right. shard from the <clears throat> from the neon bun in the oriental area. Supreme dish recipe, and finally the legendary equipment recipe, which is well <laughs> some of the best gear in the game that you can make. But of course, only if you manage to get yeah the <clears throat> get the ingredients for them. Now let's put that back and leave the most boring part of this game behind. Uh, I should probably just move this to the second screen again as well. Uh, don't forget. Game. Uh, due to you left me AFK on the screen so far, my stream link uh, closed down. Okay. Share screen. Game again. And... Thank you. Wait, oh, that's wrong one. That, is it? The heck is. Come on. It should capture the game any second now. I'm seeing it again. Uh, it's getting this. There we go. For some reason, OBS takes some a bit of time for that. But uh, yeah, let's step out a bit quick here. Go for the save. And yeah, just, just look at this. We are at this save here, the one that I've been grinding on. And that's the save. I should not have clicked away there. But, uh, yeah, I've, I grind. <laughs> I've, let's see, 1853 minutes to 23, 27 minutes. So, yeah, that's about five hours. Uh, yeah, about four and a half hours of grinding that I did for this. <laughs> yeah, and yesterday we were to watch more DuckTales, maybe some Deep Rock. But then I got the hay leg and I also rem remember that you needed to grind, so I... Yeah, I was going to tell you that I had a hay leg earlier, but yeah, I was basically left in bed. And yeah. Uh, basically, I've gotten every item in the meat. Every item except for one of, grand of the quests. And I've also filled in the last little bit of the map here, which should give us access to something that I'll show here. And I also found out how you're supposed to beat the carpenter. Like, uh, yeah, every time we fought it, it kept summoning those stupid demon lords. Well, the reason why is if you interrupt him whilst he's working on those things by attacking him, like, say, an overeager silver knight flying in, yeah, then he's going to summon a demon lord. If you let him finish, you actually get a chest with loot in it. Basically, we got punished for interrupting his work all the time, last time. Yeah. So, Eki, you get punished for being aggressive. Also, I noticed this one in the quest, quest list. Avenge the death of Richter. Target Revenant. Wait, wait. <laughs> Richter the Ruffian? Yeah, and the reason why that is funny is because Richter Belmont, which was one of the main characters in the Castlevania or original Castlevania game uh, games, and yeah, <laughs> we basically avenged the Richter by probably killing him as a zombie. Yeah, and a demon apparently too that maybe was responsible for him instead. Hmm. This is what demon. Okay, that gives us the bandit blade. I think we already... Do we... Didn't we have one of those already? I'm sure, actually. Let's see. Blood, Bloodbringer. Yeah, I see another oh, one. Oh, here. Yeah. Bandit blade. That... that. That's... Yeah. That is a... That's a high attack on that. For one that's... Kind of low in there. We're... You know, it is... Hmm. Why is the Blood Drinker set us higher? Maybe the more you kill she gets with that, the more damage it does? Hmm. But, yeah, we, whilst we're on equipment, I made some extra headpieces here, like the Demon... Well, the Demon Horse we already had, the Ancient Tiara. I made that one twice, because, well, <laughs> we need to hand one over for the, uh, the Grave Lady. I made these as well, and 
I think that here's that gadget band from the screenshots just now. And yeah, it is basically just a headset, but steampunk. <laughs> yeah, the coronation gown. This is ba pretty much the best armor that we have. It, actually, it is just playing the best on everything except for luck, maybe. And and yeah, this required Alexandrite, which had I had to grind from those stupid ice elementals in the glacial tomb. Over the rainbow was just three cashmere, which I could, which I could get from the chests in there. And yeah, you're wearing the coronation now. Yep. Yeah. But it doesn't. It doesn't overlap. I'm sad. I, I, I really hope that the strongest armor will give you a d different look. How are you, Miriam? Getting by. Oh yeah. Let's start handing these in. She wants one of these swords, and I got five of them. I'll show why in a bit. Also, this oracle blade, uh, which is kind of funny. Which I'll also show in a bit. Here's what you asked for. This is it. That's one more villager we can lay to rest. Here's your reward. I <laughs> don't toy shoes. Uh, <laughs> wait a second. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, away with those. But yeah, I might as well show this one. It's yeah, that uh, flying sword from the screenshots I showed earlier. This is an upgrade. You can make use that to uh, make this. And yeah, this is basically an upgraded version of what that does. Okay. This is the keepsake I'm looking for. Right. Okay. Next up, she wants a flame ring, and which gives us the Eye of Horus. But How are you? Let's just start skipping through those. Uh, let's see, flame ring over here. Yes, it's where is it? There it is. Here's what you asked for. Now, what does that do? Because that's obviously an ac ex yeah, accessory here. Let's see, monocle that lets lets you look down on the world like a bird. Oh. It zooms. <laughs> it zooms out, and it looks kind of cool. But let's get rid of that. An Egyptian monocle. Yep. <laughs> this is the keepsake I'm looking for. Okay. Next, she wants a tea dress. I Thank you. think I have that as well. How are you? Let's see. That should be somewhere around here. Wait. Did I forget to make that? I forgot to make that. But I, I should have the materials to make it. If not, I'm going to look even more stupid than usual. Uh, to make what? I missed that. I was drinking. A tea dress. Alright, and now I was not drinking booze, folks. I was drinking a pissy drink. Basically, oh. it's not soda, but sort of. Did I? I'm pretty sure. Of course, it's the one thing I didn't have not uh, ticked off on the list here. Okay, where the hell do those... Yeah, what the hell does drops those? Because I was using the, the wikis for this to find it. Red for Red rag. Okay, let's see. Drop by Barbatos. And those are the archers in the Garden of Silence. Okay, I know one good place where we can find those quick. Ain't that quite early in this demo? Yep, it's a medium game. It's a mid, uh, early to mid game item, I'd say. Now that can go away again before it starts chugging the computer with all its demands. Let's see. I don't think any. Oh, yeah, the ribbon gives luck. The Valkyrie desk is gives luck then it is the nose glasses and something else that gives luck I'll I'll use this just to show how I've been uh, grinding these things basically shards I swap that to in augment luck as you can see I have that it at grade 9 which means that I got it nine times from 
and at rank 7. So yeah, I've upgraded this thing quite a bit, and as you can see, it it gives us 10 luck. Which is... it helped quite a bit, I'd have to say. Bloody heck! Also, apparently, if you upgrade a shard, a, a passive shard, or at least an augment shard, to rank nine, not grade nine, rank nine, um, <clears throat> then you can turn it into a passive shard. So basically, if you ha if I manage to upgrade augment luck twice more at Johannes, then. Well, I, I could have it on permanently, without having to have it slotted. That's pretty good! A permanent stat boost. Yeah. Are you going to have it all of the stat uh, uh, I missed that last bit there. Are you going to have it all the crystals uh, that are permanent, uh, stuff, stuff like that? Yeah, all the augment uh, shards you can up you can turn into passive ones. Uh, let's see, where was it again? I think it was up here. Uh, yeah, we're, there is no uh, way up from here. But there should be a room somewhere. Wait, how do I... I know there's a room somewhere in here where there should be two of those arches in the same room. Oh, wait, that that's over there. Okay, me being dumb again. No, what else is to be expected? <laughs> uh. Ah, I think I finally know how to describe the drink we're drinking. Hmm? Uh, bubble water with at least 15% fruit juice in it. Okay. So. so Fizzy juice? Yeah, you could say so for that. Like, like it's, it's basically fizzy water with a fruit juice in it. Very little. But you can... It's, it's a good replacement for soda, for... Yeah. You prepare to shoot your hole with this compared to a regular soda. The result is extremely different. So if you want to lose weight, but you need to get a like a soda. Yeah. Something like, look at what, it's a good Okay, that's one. But, yeah, this is basically how I've been grinding things, just enter the room, kill it, exit the room if it doesn't drop anything, rinse and repeat. You're going And, yeah, the shuriken spell that the ninjas in the oriental area dropped as you can see, it's quite powerful, actually. <laughs> yeah, and you have to remember, Black Metal thing killing people. You do. Let's see, that's another one. And are we lucky? Nope. And nope. Hold on. Do you actually hit the arrows with those? Uh, no, I don't think so. Be he the heat seems to drop it. Actually, the bow, act the bow moves separately. The bow okay. and arrow. And what the arrows land near you at one point. Okay, more That's why I always get for it. Looks like you're stuck in the flight. Uh, that's just uh, the body parts ragdolling. And there we have a level. Actually, I think 49. And I'm, I think <laughs> last time we were, no, Miriam was level 42. No, I think she was only level 40 or 41. Still, a lot of experience. Yeah. More, probably more experienced than if he guessed. But yeah, it was almost five hours of grinding. Now, we should quickly be able to make these stupid teeteras. So, what will it be? We grinded a lot yesterday and some uh, today as well. Yeah, but only like half an hour or so. 
I like it. Oh. Uh, yeah, I got some last pieces of orichalcum for the armor pieces. How are you? Okay, let's see. There we go. Here's what you are. And we get another hairstyle from Reds. What's been the last one? Um, I think we were we were missing two, or maybe three. Thank you. Anyways, this Hello. is another quest that we want to do, and well, this is where it's a bit funny with this. The hound fest is made with lion pelts. Uh. Here's what you asked for. And with what? that, we get the cowboy hat, which I actually want to use. Because shortcuts, firearms, and yes, that that is a different gun. This is a gun that's been made with the Orichalcum. So that is pretty powerful. And we want to swap out the demon horns with the cowboy hats because it increases power of firearms. Because apparently firearms are a lot more useful than I originally thought. And well, just look at all, all, <laughs> at all of the ammunition that I made. <laughs> uh, yeah, diamond rounds are obviously the strongest, and I've already raised two of them, so I'm switching away from that. But uh, yeah, that's preset now. This is the keepsake. Next up, flame circlet. Thank you. How are you, Mir Okay, there we go. Here's what you asked for. Circlets themselves aren't actually dropped. You have those. You have to buy those from the shop. Uh, let's see. What was that? Probably another accessory. Where is that one? Ah, uh, yeah. Here's the black belt. Increases attack speed. I can um, uncheck that. Hmm. Where is? Where is that thing? I very much doubt it's... It was a wait, talisman, wait, wait. right? Uh, wait, wait, what were you looking for again? The thing we just got from uh, Abigail here. Looking... Let's see. You keep getting this stuff just when I take a drink. Warlock's uh, locks necklace. Where is that? Uh, inventory. Uh, can I sort this? No, I can't sort that alphabetically. Where is... Hmm. Where the heck is that thing? Did I go over, straight over it? There it is. The beloved yeah. necklace of a great sorcerer reduces magic depletion. Okay. As in, it makes your mana last longer? Yeah, it lowers the drain. So, that can actually go in here. Because, yeah. I made these four builds in the meantime as well. Melee, healing, magic, and firearms. So, I may have over-prepared a bit. <laughs> this is the key. Okay. Lily, silver tiara, and that we get chicken casserole from that. Hello. And there we go, silver tiara. Here's what you want. This is the. And next up, the silk dress for a maid's ha hairband, which I think, like the previous accessories, has been unique. Well, unique in that you can only get it through Abigail. And of course, we're take <laughs> we're putting that on. A hairband with cute frills that can only be described as made to order. <laughs> what? Okay, decent but not amazing. This is the keepsake. Next up, a ribbon. Thank you. Hello. And yeah, we got plenty of these from uh, all of the fairies. That we've been killing. Silver power ring. And I think I actually found one of those as well. 
whilst I was writing things out. So let's see, that's down here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I have two of it. A ring that increases attack power in proportion to the number of enemies you have slain. And we have, well, <laughs> we have 3,000 kills. Actually, let's Lovely. take a quick look. If I swap this out for a silver ring and then move over to the Traver yeah, Traverser's ring still gives more power. So yeah, that's... So, yeah. Met completion, 99.20%. Yep, there's, a, there's pretty much only one room, that no, two rooms that we haven't found yet. Or, well, we have... We have found both of them, but they aren't showing up on the map, of course. Oh dear. This is the keep. Right. Let's see. Next up, a diamond. Hey. In exchange for majestic How plates. Yep, that should be over here somewhere. Let's see. Diamond, diamond. There we go. Here's what you asked for. This is it. That's... Okay, and how does this look? On its own, it looks pretty good. The breastplate presented by a ruler to one who performs great deeds. Okay, we have we have much much better armor, but still. This is the key. And yeah, this one was a pain to get or a Kelkin. Thank you. <laughs> because it only drops in one place, and that's the glacial tomb. How are you? And yeah, those ice elementals were an absolute pain in the ass to deal with. Here's what you asked. This is it. And for that we got fish. And let's see, have we we haven't tried that one, and it's not one of the ones that Granny wants. And yeah, as you can see I've <laughs> I've added Miriam's had her taste of a lot of other dishes to up to up her boosts. Or up the boosts he's getting from it. Scratches. This is the keepsake. Oh jeez. And this is the last one. The ancient tiara. For in which we get Solomon's ring. Thank you. How are you, Miriam? Now, let's see. And there we go. Oh, no, all the dead will be remembered. <laughs> okay, she's not going to say anything new. All right, what does Solomon's ring do? Let's see. A ring that increases how often enemies yield shards. Okay, that's going to be useful for grinding. Uh, look at the stats. E okay, pretty good on it that as well massively good and getting hmm is that might that actually be better probably not already at the upper lower side here no not better still good so it says they gave at least three other stats blue yep Alright, next up Granny, for whom we have all but the last item, because the last one requires two uh, two drops that have a 1% chance. So, so she yeah, did not want what matter. So, yeah, <laughs> I was just plain not going to do that. I, I tried to grind it out, but yeah, I just ended up wasting a lot of time. At least you get a good XP at That's least, well. It? Yeah. How did you know? Save some for me. I feel a little. You're welcome. Don't. Okay, we get the spear from that one. I think we can actually make ourselves already. I suppose. Okay. Next up, she wants a strawberry crepe, and that should be there. That. A feather robe. I want to question a funny thing about some of these quests in concept. You give her a strawberry crab, and in return she gave her the feather and robe. Yeah. You hear the comedy in that, right? 
I, I think it's going over my head. You're training. You give her food Is to get clothes. Is there else you'd like to eat? Yes. Still missing it, but let's just move on. Merc lies. <laughs> Yeah, now she wants classic spaghetti. Let's... I think I know how to, how to make, it, make you understand. It's like... I tried to trade the, your computer for pizza. <laughs> Heck yeah. Now you get what I mean. <laughs> it's a sword that has a chance to petrify and... Well, we've seen what, yeah, the, what petrification does with the uh, sculptor's chisel. Basically, an instant kill if it triggers. Is that is nice. Something refreshing for duelist guards. Duelist guards. Uh, uh, yeah, th break? this time she wants something simple: lemonade. That's it. Very flawed lemonade. Oh, well, fancy. Not weapon armor. Okay. Chest guard worn by duelists, and it's actually. It's actually worse than the feathered rope that we got earlier from her. Is there a. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. something breaded. Uh, did you. Yeah, let's see. Which is this one again? Pork cutlets. I think, let me check the note that I have here. Uh, da, 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 yep, pork cutlets. That's... And we've gotten this sword a few times already and lost it. Is there anything else you'd... Something fluffy. Uh, and yeah, this is an egg souffle, I think. Uh, you remember that the, the, the icon does appear over her head. Yeah. That's it. Uh, misery, mis misery cords. Let's see. A thrusting weapon known as the Sword of Mercy. Oh, right, that one. <clears throat> okay, quite a good rip, rip, rip here. Let's see. Is there any? Oh, maybe, yeah, I think you found that one before. Bring Susie a miracle. <laughs> okay. Oh, what? Yeah, apparently a miracle is she found cake in this universe. That's it. Fangshi scarf. I think we already have one of those. Yeah, we. That's just a. Is there any crispy skin? I suppose I'll. Did you bring? And this is. She should be, yeah, chicken saute. That's it. Kalan, something I can't pronounce apparently. Let's see, a staff the Lord of the Underworlds used to preside over the dead. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's more like a. A war hammer than a great sword. And also he has the chance to petrify. Is there anything Something with sea urchin, for which we get a lethality ring, which is a, a, a critical damage up ring, I think. And that's this one should be uh, yeah. Uni rice bowl. That's it. Risotto made with apple and rice for a demon necklace. I Did you demon necklace? All right. Yeah, I I've actually never heard of recipes that use both apple and rice in the same thing. That's it. Very much like. Okay, what is this demon uh, necklace then? Demon necklace that eliminates vulnerability when using shards. Wait, how does that mean exactly? 
I, is that supposed to give us a momentary invulnerability or something? Wait, what? Let me read that again. A demon necklace that eliminates vulnerability while using char when using shards. So is it? Does it mean? Does it maybe mean directional ones? No. Like, yeah, that's one of those items that you'd really just want a better explanation with. Is there anything else? Yes. Yeah. Noodles and broth. For a gambler's ring. Did you? Let's see. That's Noodles sorry, ramen. That's it. Noodles. Oh, maybe that sounds like a code name for something. Oh, seven. I could have used this during the grinding. A ring that bestows both luck and pluck to would-be gamblers. <laughs> okay. Food that falls apart, a simmer dish for a Dane's life. I... Did you bring it? And let's see. Apple risotto served simmered fornius, and fornius is the fish that we've been fighting in the uh, underground passage. That's it. I get the feeling we've had this one before. Let's see, where is it? There it is. A magical blade that thirsts for the blood of the living. It's a normal sword. I do think we have that one before. What the? And it does dark damage. Hmm? It's a bloody ring sword! <laughs> okay. Wait, that means it's not a sword, really. It's just a big rake. <laughs> a big there... sharp rake. Yes, I would... Yeah. <laughs> Beef hot pots. Wait, what? Uh, I su what yeah, that's the next thing that she wants. And that should be... Sukiyaki. Wait, wait, did I hear you right? Hmm? Hot pot. Hot pot, okay. 8 bit nightmare. Oh, I forgot to eat that. Let's see, where. Where is that thing? Let's see. I'd heard bits about this, about something 8 bit stuff. A book inside which an ancient demon overlord has been imprisoned? The hell? What? Oh, I think I know what that. I think that might be part of a puzzle. Is there anything else? Let's see. And something life changing. This is the last thing and the one that I couldn't get because, well, 1% drop rate and I needed two of them. But yeah, this would be an exquisite steak and the recycle hat that it gives, it basically makes all of your ammunition, it, it, it doesn't, it makes it so that you're, when you're using firearms, your ammo isn't used up. Ooh. So yeah, you could use those diamond bullets infinitely. Scroll away, it's hard to get for. Yeah. It could basically make you very OP. It's good to Almost so near OP. And now the reason why I got five of the swords that we needed is actually, let's see, where is it here? It should be somewhere. Or wait. Did I did I already make it or something? Come back it. What wait. Hi, me. Did I use up something that was needed in the making it? Let's see. 
Hmm. No. Uh, four sharp razors. And I sold all of those. Ugh. Don't did Bolbus drop them? Uh, what? They kill the barbers. Don't they drop those? Yeah, they they drop the sword as well. But basically, this is considered one of the best game of swords in the game because it it's basically that it's the same as the sword, uh, as the sword it's made out of. Only it hits four times instead of one, which on its own sounds not that interesting, of course, but it. You can constantly keep attacking with it. And where is the stupid thing? What the heck happened to your voice there? Hmm? Did you move away from the monk or something? No. We were just a bit muffled there a few times. Uh, yeah. Well. Me being an idiot again and not double checking what is needed for everything before selling stuff. So yeah, let's go annoy some killer, some killer barbers, because there's another good spot here to grind them. So we should have four of those <laughs> easy enough. Oh, if I equip the lucky stuff, of course. Well, you could always ask the top for some extra. It's a friendly mob after all, so mm. I don't think he would uh, mind giving you some. Mm, true, and the, that sword probably wouldn't be too useful in the fight itself. Mm, yeah, let. I have. Oh, we've already been going for like 40 minutes here. <laughs> So let's oh, not really? waste too much more time and actually go fight the last uh, bosses. Though there is one more thing that I want to show up here. You're not kidding, already been 40 minutes. Wait, but you don't get there first. Okay, people of mine who have been paying attention might have noticed that there is an extra room in the map up there. Because, yeah, this secret app. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's start riding that word. Yeah, the secret room has another secret room hidden behind it. Yep. And actually, I should. I should go save. Because I think this might lead to another hidden boss. Oh, right. And yeah, we have a, a very evil looking bookcase over here. I haven't re interacted with this yet because, well, <laughs> well, in case of everything I happening. What, I think I know what that bookshelf bill is. It's full of terrible novels. Like Twilight and what? <laughs> yep, <laughs> welcome to the 8 bit area. It's the first Castlevania in it. Uh, similar, 8 bit skull. Yeah, this is where a lot of the demons that we haven't found are. Like 8 bit ghosts. <laughs> and yeah, these can. 8 bit zombies. Each of these can drop shards as well, I think. Wait, it's Yep. <laughs> okay, I've 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 not looked up anything about this other than well I've indirectly finding out about its existence. Nope, oh, hello. Yeah. 
I am curious now what adds the what's at the end here. This would have, that place would have quite a wide arc of hits. Like you were actually hitting mobs behind you. Yep. Ah, uh, here's the first of these, and it's summon eight bit ghost. <laughs> Oh, hello there. And goodbye. None of this is actually contributing to the map. And here's the second. 8-bit uh -oh. <laughs> fireball. You look so painful! Hello. 8-bit <laughs> overlord. Okay. Okay, don't look quite terrifying. So then we kick some on the third. That is like creative for one of them. Nope. What are you? Oh, more fire, of course. Oh, uh, that's a lot of fire. <laughs> Burn, burn, burn. Yeah, it, it is a mini boss. And I should actually heal up some. Okay, here we go. And over here. This. Hmm. Okay. Either I made, either I got a lot. No, I only got like 150 max health from that. So these are supposed to amplify the you how much those things heal. But apparently, you're okay. There's 700. That. That. Done. Yeah, Alright, much better, much better. Jump too early. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on. Stay low and Yeah, using fire Oh, there we go. It's dead. <laughs> and we're out again. Oh hello. Eight eight bit nightmare. Right now we have two of those. Yeah, okay. Um I have actually no idea what to do with those then. And I should have gone from the top. Okay. Uh, maybe with the uh maybe with the bit weapons. Yeah, probably with the bit weapons. But for now, I'm let's head on out. Haven't got a crystal that allow us was to ride a horse. Yeah, it doesn't seem that there is one like in in the game. It, do, it doesn't seem that there is. I guess the one that can ride a horse is in the, the kingdom game. <laughs> Nancy rides a damn scary unicorn. And okay. One new hairstyle, and let's see, what is it? Wait. Which of these is it? I didn't yeah, see a new thing over anything. Yeah, they, they, they don't, they never tag any of them as new. 
There's a spin hot know which one is the new one. I think it's this one? Nope. That's I've almost seen. a bit new. And yeah, maybe that one. Now uh, this is one we've had we've had before. So I th I think it might be oh oh yeah, that's the one with the <laughs> with the braid. Yeah. I called it Elsa due to how it looks on the car that over there. Yeah. And I've still not seen Frozen movies. I may like you not watch them. Well, I have been recommend to not watch the Frozen movies. I no wait, we've We've had this one before, because it's similar to Shinoa's. Maybe this one? Uh, I actively, I actually can't tell which is new. So maybe it is this one. Yeah, it would have been helpful if they had added uh, new tags on them. Yeah. The look suits you fine. Okay, so now with that, there is one other person to visit now before we go ahead after the carpenter. Now that we know how to actually kill him, or kill him without getting ourselves murdered in the process. And we should be able to borrow another book. I've come by some new reading material. Yep, he said that last time. Okay, we still can bear, bear. Yeah, we can still only lend two books. So let's drop right. that one and that one. And here is Tome of Conquest, the ultimate tome equivalent to the prowess, tailwind, and mastery tomes. So what this one does is, well, let's have a look at those. Tailwind is the speed one. Mastery is, well, Hastings provisioning growth in techniques. Because apparently if you pull... I haven't read too much into it, but apparently if you max out Mastery with, uh, with a technique, you should be able to use it um, on every sword of the same type instead of only the one specified with it, I think. I'm not sure. Let's see. And prowess is... Okay, increases attack speed. But yeah, since it gives us both attack speed and movement speed, we'll be this. taking this. And yeah, let's go with the might tome as well. Be certain to return what you borrow. This is a library, not a bookshop. Okay. And off to the... <laughs> After the carpenter, it is without a familiar this time. Just yes, don't forget to save. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's over there, and the easiest save spot is over here. Dimension shift. Okay. Actually, we can have it look now at what our lo what our level was last time. Yeah, level forty. <laughs> so you have been running until today, eight levels plus one for today. So yep. And also, something I found out: these bosses are repeatable. Uh, yeah, we we can escape though. So yeah, let's just get out before it steals any more cash. The question is, are they good for XP grind? I think they give quite a bit. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Also, something I probably should have figured out earlier is that. Well, for some reason, you can't really use the dimension shift to get up here. 
good. Yeah, it has made it a lot easier to just get around places. Yeah, for some reason, it doesn't let you... Maybe there's like half a second of... Uh, yeah, cooldown between a jump and a use. Probably. But yeah, this is the stupid thing that has the 1% drop chance. For... Well, the exquisite stake material. And again, you need two of those. Oh yeah, and I, from what thing, yeah, from things I've looked up, it is confirmed that uh, well, Poppy, Neon Bon, and the other animal spirits in this game, yeah, those are those are pets of backers who managed to get them in. By, well, <laughs> by giving enough money. Okay, I don't think this one attacks. But I, just to be certain, we're going in without. Just power walk over again. Come on. Is he... It, is he leading those? Oh, come. Okay, someone lied. I'm not interrupting him at all. And now he makes a chest. Like, the hell. What's in there? Improved bone. That would have been a kill. And he's going to work again. And I'm guessing the Demon Lord is stuck in the ceiling or something. Okay, how did we interrupt him on the first... Is he... Okay, for a moment I thought he was glitched or something, and that... Dang. Okay. How are you coming over in one demon? By now he would you have summoned several. Yeah. Okay, let's give that one more shot. I think I should be good for, well, defeating Dominique and Vale. So that shouldn't take too many tries. <laughs> Though I may be called away for something. So yeah, that might interrupt the stream for a bit. And I did not mean to fall down. This, this place is just annoying with how many of these freaking monkeys and other enemies there are. And, yeah, you can just walk past these. Okay. Someone's being a bit loud with the doors. Oh. Before I... For no, I forgot to do it there, but... Okay. Yeah, let's just hide behind here until he's done with those. Yeah, there we go. No, he... He's just going to make that all the same. I... Okay, let's just focus this asshole down then. There. It, okay, I thought we'd gotten that shot already, but no. And you got a quick dumb. Launch a focus ball of dark energy in the designated direction. Uh, okay. Again? Okay, something is... Wait. Don't go on the board. Like, what the... He's only supposed to make those if we if we hit him or something. 
you didn't even meet them. Then you... I think when you leave him alone, Vinod and Vinod will his work. He may have only limited uses of them. Well, he, he made two chests last time. Mm. Yeah, but it's only one Ouija board. So, it's, so if those are here, I have summoned them four times, you might not be able to summon more of them. Okay, there, there's just there's just something wrong going on. I'm, yeah, I'm giving up on the carpenter. He, he didn't even good, give a good skill, was it? Yeah. That's just uh, throwing chisels. All right, and we have everything we want or need. So we have to fight our way through the glacial area one last time. Want me to fight Ubi as well? Curious that you say that. Stop. What okay. the? I warned you. What you take from the library must be returned to the library. Oops. You'll pay for this transgression. Death is too kind for you. Return. Wait, what? <laughs> Yep, <laughs> he's the secret boss, and he hits hard with those icicles. Okay, what did you do to trigger that? The Tome of Conquest. Yeah. And yeah, that's his skill. <laughs> so yeah, as long as we have that equipped, he will show up here as a boss fight. Okay, so he he is of course <laughs> very tough. Of... Okay. So to be using the best book, be borrowing the best book, you consider it not us returning it? Yeah, let, let's give him another shot. Where I want to try and ki kill uh, Bale in this uh, stream. But I do want to show a lot, as much as, as I can of this game as well, without, well, drawing things out like there's only one thing in the entire video or something. Yeah. Return what you borrowed. Oh, come on. He starts off with that. Okay, I'm not sure... I'm not sure how you're even supposed to dodge that. Because he seems to specifically aim those shards at you. And I still got hit there. Okay. Is there a specific move that he does? Just before he freezes time. Okay, he has a jump attack as well, and I'm almost dead. Yeah. Okay, he. Uh, okay, you kind of have to go off of luck with that then. Hmm. Is too kind for you. Okay. Yeah, let's return his <laughs> let's return his stupid book. That, that's kinda sneaky. Well you only you the Tome of Conquest only becomes available after you've reached ninety-nine percent map completion.
so yeah, let's turn that back in. Here to take. And yeah, what shall we take instead then? Actually, yeah, prowess. Be certain to. Just play more attack speed. That's always good. And well, I want to save the healing items that we do have for the yeah. last the last fight. Actually, before we, is there any other food that I haven't? Yeah, this one. Scrumptious. And yeah, not not dart oh, touching no, that. No, 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 no. Move no. away from it. Move away from it. There is no. there is a use for these, it, with ten dark matter, and fifty of something else. You can make gold. What? Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, Hilia, are you alright? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh, yep. It was in Johannes's menu. How many fingers am I holding up? Hmm? How many? Oh, wait, you can't see my fingers. Yeah, not that way. Uh, are you sure you're not being grimy too much? Nope. Dimension shift. Yeah, we keep an eye on you. Thank you. Man, I'm gonna let the map get mad. Okay. Okay. Here we are again. Um. One last chain still, back to melee. I'm... Actually... Let's go with Dominique. <laughs> <laughs> let's go with Dominique with this. Um, because, yeah, it's better to... It's better to keep some distance from her. Though instead of that... Let's take directed Think? shoot because apparently this is supposed to block that stupid light beam. Yeah, the way you broke, you had some light beam go under the shield to hit you. So even. Okay, we've seen this up already. Oh yeah, of course you. Oh, 221. Uh, yeah, that's going to shorten this, I think, as long as she Don't doesn't. Like yep, as long as she doesn't keep a wrong spell. Ah, stupid. Well, he, he gave you the distance you wanted. So, don't. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, so it, it does work. Wait, it, are the bullets seeking? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're heat seeking. Okay, where, where the hell is that coming from? Okay, that, that's, uh, that made fighting her a lot easier, even though, well, we're only at 400 health. Yes, yes, you know, smile for the camera, yeah. ugly. You, you still throw the heal now. We can also use these to heal up. So maybe it's more effective there. Yep, I missed the electric attack. He spits from above. Honestly, we want that one. Yeah. 
And yeah, this is one of the cases where Tamako Death shines. That one, oh, come on, get out of there. Yeah, that tongue attack you can dodge if you just stand close enough. Where, where are you? There you are. We can still hurt the other heads, but it doesn't actually serve much of a purpose. Time to heal again. Uh, I should have switched. Better well. Good. He even locked these thrones. <laughs> she just keeps playing. And they're gone. <laughs> Dominique. She could have done so much good, but I I was ex honestly expecting that to go on for much, much longer. <laughs> yeah! We were, no, we have, you did grind well enough, and we did uh, learn some tricks to it, it seems. Yeah, and well, I made these uh, specifically, uh, sp specifically built sets to uh, well do as much damage as possible. But, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Also, something I just I realized whilst I was grinding. Huh? I don't think Dominique ever mentioned God or the Lords in the entirety of the game. Maybe once, but I don't recall her ever mentioning them. Yeah. So that might have been a subtle hint to show that she has lost her faith. So usually when a character in a game or series... Uh, is of the clergy, they'll they'll just never stop about uh, God or the Lord or the Father and such. Or at least they mention them now and then, at least. Yeah, and well, when such a character doesn't mention them in every other breath, then it's generally a sign of someone you know, writing them who knows that that gets really freaking annoying. But it, in this case, it, yeah, it, it was someone it, who lost faith. Yeah. Is it I think clever characters that mention them sometimes and not all the time, but as you said with Dominique, she did not mention them once. I think she might I, have mentioned. I, I think she mostly I sp spoke about the church at the very start, but I. Yeah, and when she, she, only thing she mentioned is the church and never God or the Lord. Not once. So I agree with you there. She not mentioned them at all. Wait, and that probably still caused us. Book that started it all. What are you going to do with it? The same thing the master was trying to do. Before he died, he inscribed Enochian letters onto each of the castle's structural weaknesses. Now, I will use the book to perform a rite here at the heart of the castle. The rite will activate the Enochian script and send the castle and demons back from whence they came. Okay, I was more thinking like blow it the hell up, but uh, yeah, just sending it back into hell instead without explosives, well, a bit disappointing, will still work. <laughs> so that's what Alfred was trying to accomplish. We 
need to begin. Stand back, Miriam. You all had one explosion. Be happy with it. Okay, time for us to run, I'd say. <laughs> oh, <laughs> or just rage stone out. It's over. And for the first time uh, in the entire game, the sun in the background. want to know more about Zengetsu and well we can learn more about him in his own up <clears throat> in his own game mode do you and demons still remain in this world we can grieve later after finishing the last of them off that reminds me the master took note of how I was forestalling your corruption and suggested some improvements I think I might be able to stop the crystal from overtaking you permanently. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, all of the... <laughs> for the longest time I was actually thinking that all of the uh, flowers on uh, Miriam's body, like on her shoulder, her legs, and her breast there. Uh, for some time I thought those were tattoos, but no, those are the, those are the crystal corruption showing. <laughs> Oh! Actually, were those there at the start of the game? Yep. Okay, because otherwise those might, if it, if the, if they had been growing or covering more, that would have been a subtle, clever, clever and subtle way of showing uh, well, crystal corruption, even though that wasn't actually uh, a mechanic oh, no. in the game. Correction. Hmm? The flowers were there. But the scribbles there might be new. Hmm. I'd have to check the first uh, uh, video then. Really? Yeah, but I don't. Because it seems like there has been some addition to them. But yes, I think. Well, thank you, Johannes. You're very and... welcome. Come on, let's go home. Going off script again, you two. Uh, actually, I, I, I think there's more addition to his notebook on his chest there. Hmm. Something else I we'd mean, have to check then. Yeah, for, I feel like when we, we start the game, it was basically nothing there except the book. But I feel like he has been putting notes in there. All right. The Zengetsu so. Wait. That bastard's alive, isn't he? Hopefully, and as well. Good news! I have no pixelation in this stream! <laughs> right as it ends. Yeah, they had some minor pixelation on some moments, but during the gameplay, cutscene, and such, and were all no pixelation. Do it might be due to my. I think my mother and boyfriend is away shopping. So Could be. Uh, the only one at home. Sorry if that was audible on the mic, I accidentally bumped it. No worries. Actually, is that. 
Does that thing actually have an effect now or not? What the? Scream is of the bosters? Yeah. And if I do that. Yeah, the, it is having some effect. Every screen is a food. <laughs> Curry the kid? <laughs> Come on. Hagur Ramen Man. <laughs> Uh, I missed the English voice actors there, but yeah. Yeah, I did too. Zangetsu. 5 for 1 games. I'll definitely be taking a look at those. Uh, um, I, for I forget the actual subtitle name, but I'll, I'll be checking out the, uh, the two other Bloodstained games. To see, as I think they're like. Uh, old school homages for the original Castlevanias, like they are, they are pixelated and such. Uh, yeah, I'll have a look at how those are. I'm assuming they'll be they'll be good as well. well I'll just have to see if they uh, would be interesting enough to stream. Now we're at one hour and. 20 minutes about now. Hmm. So once the cutscene is over, should we do it? Yeah, I I want to take a bit of a, a break. Um, I was thinking about taking a bit of a break, and that was the uh, craftwork boss, or more mini boss. We actually didn't use that ability too much. Uh. Yeah, let's let's at least start it. Yeah. Then I'll see if I continue with that if we'll continue with that next time or if I just take a short break to hmm. actually next time is Saturday. Okay, let's do this. We'll start with Sengetsu's story. And tomorrow I'll be doing uh, a bit more hard, hard space shipbreaker. What? Tyrannical what? overload? <laughs> yeah, just having fun at the, themselves. But yeah. <laughs> we'll start Sengetsu now. And then Saturday I'll be doing more ship, uh, shipbreaker. Sunday, maybe another something Sunday, maybe continue with another game. I We haven't played a ground in a bit, and I want to continue a bit further with that. But if it turns out that it's going to be... Well, if it's not going to evolve much more, then we might drop a ground. And then Tuesday, next week, we'll continue with Sangetsu here. That sound good? Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay. <laughs> I just have to wait for the credits to end. I want to... In the post, I would just post, go past the end credits. But now there is... Because everyone is copying Marvel. <laughs> Unless... Actually, I think Marvel copied someone else. We're an extra scene at the end. Yeah, these days, most games and movies have something hidden behind it. Yeah. I know Marvel did not start it, but I know they show as tech popularity a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the train boss, together with Sengetsu. I'm actually curious at his, his uh, real name. Maybe we'll find that out in his own mo game mode. Wait, you don't know... You forgot his real name. It, it's never mentioned, I think. But we know the name of the voice. Huh? It has been mentioned. I don't think so. Uh, want me to tell what it is? What then? Tim the Enchanter. <laughs> yeah, that's not it. <laughs> I'd be worried if you believe me on that one. Also, something interesting that I found out while I was looking up uh, bits on TV tropes. Wait, you can actually play the piano? Okay, we missed that somehow. Yeah, and we... 
Wonder if they own the place Pijano, if you had a pair with you. Let's go check that out once these uh, spreads are over. <laughs> because I get the feeling the fairy will sing. But yeah, as I was saying, something that I found out is that um, I... Th I actually don't know too much specifics on the background behind Castlevania, but someone named Iga, which is either the creative director or creator of the series, or maybe the musician. I, I, actually, let's take a quick look to look it up. It was, their name slash nickname is Iga, and the last Castlevania that they worked on, the f last official at Castlevania, was you know, Order of Ecclesia, which is the same game where you play Shinoa. know that based my favorite uh, Castlevania character. Oh, in, yes, in parts, in parts because uh, yeah, the only Castlevania that I've ever personally played. Let's see, Iga. Yeah, uh, the fight with Alfred. Koji Igarashi, Japanese video game producer. So yeah, the producer. Okay. The programmer, writer, and creative director of the credits at S. Iga. He began his career by joining Konami in 1990 as a programmer. At <laughs> Wait. Oh, yeah, that is. There is something else that I forgot to show. Ninja Biscuits now. Ninja Biscuits bursting through the. The heck? And. <laughs> uh, yeah, all of the backers here. <laughs> Let's see if we can find any specific ones. <laughs> A part of me is really annoyed that they didn't put these... Iga Forever! What? Someone that was had the last name Iga Forever! The uh, last Nick no, doesn't really matter, but yeah. <laughs> a part of me is really annoyed that they didn't put these guys in alphabetically, but I'm guessing in a part they're doing it by contribution. And uh, yeah, this just this just shows you how many people funded. No funded. Oh, man. Okay, that that <laughs> that must be <laughs> another contributor boon if you would contributed X amount of money you can get adding a little s joke in the credits. Keep it on duty. It must be in the thinking. We shall become as gods. What? I, th I think that's a quote from something. All, All my love to little Tali. I've got experience with backers of this game. No, what's next? <laughs> Well, what's next is Helium playing a accordion with his nose. No. <laughs> oh wait, you can't. I, I think I mixed up accordion with a uh, mouth flute. Oh wait. I think I've heard of what you're trying to speak of, but I've forgotten the specifics of it. Uh, yeah, it's a Monty Python reference. But, uh, yeah, this just shows how many freaking people have supported this. In all and Jack Vaughn. Awesome <laughs> uh, a bit too close to each other on this, people. So that Sakurin is always requesting permission to gain control. He's king uh. of doom. Doom beam. What? what? It's I think this... Yeah, it's the internet. Strange is the usual. <laughs> Old I... Beard Reinhardt. I feel like that's something that maybe it would use for me. I I get the feeling this has been going on longer than the other sections of the credits. <laughs> that probably means it will explain why it's so ma well made. And congrats on finishing the game first, James. 
Now start doing this so much again down. <laughs> Nameless Cat Samurai on the left. Life is but a fleeting dream. Enjoying while you can. <laughs> what were you? Follow your passion and face your true self between dream and reality, mind and matter. Aquana Mew Mew Wong. What? <laughs> it was one that was just out of. That was just going off screen as I read it. <laughs> I read it reads blues? Something? Werewolf? Rare, huh? Nope. Not staying forever. Alright. Uh, they were probably assuming that would come out uh, slanted. And Clan Captain. Wait. Our... What is a man in a little pile of secrets? <laughs> <laughs> Greetings to my two amazing nieces. Wait. They're doing. They are doing them by tier. I'm guessing. You're gonna be a clan katana. Did you find the secret? <laughs> okay. No one has as many friends as the man with many cheeses. Cheese vendor. What? That sounds like a reference again. King Sha. Uh. Yeah, I get the feeling we're going to be here for a while. Well, it might as well take a nap. Friendo game, Jeffy Squad. What? I will keep praying for this game to be played by many people. To do that, I must be a vampire. <laughs> Hiroshi Sato. That. For some reason, that name sounds really familiar to me. Is a common name or famous name? Bernie Bear in the middle. Tyler Tango Kramer? Matt Samuel Push? What the heck is a Push? Sean Fox Watson. Yo Helsing. Special thanks. Martin de Koning. Upper right. Matt Papa. <laughs> what? Shingo Ito? Isn't that that... The Shovel Knight? <laughs> uh, this is the Shovel Knight there, so... <laughs> you might be able to something. Digital Works Entertainment, Studio Wood Crone. Okay, the us companies they've worked together on this for Epic Games. Hmm. Yeah, that that that's never not nice, eh? To just thank the player as well. Achievement unlocked, Army of the Night. <laughs> and Blinding Flash. Okay. Let's see. Okay, we have a clear, and we cleared it in 24 hours and 30 minutes. So basically, in one day, in total. Yeah. Let's see, what will happen when we go back in? Okay, it drops us off here. But it, it completes that a little bit. Okay, I, I need to know. Uh, inventory, waystone. Hey, by the gym. Hmm. I'm, I'm thinking of something now. The piano? Uh, no, something else. I... Oh, there is still... We were... Every chair that we saw, we sat on. But I think there is only one that we've missed. And that's the one in the train. The one that led to that jump scare and uh, surprise enemy that absolutely kicked our ass. Ooh. 
So I get the feeling that there's an achievement for sitting in all of these as well. <laughs> all of those. Okay. Take a seat. Achievement unlocked for some recital. <laughs> okay, that, that was a, a a nice little song and uh, <laughs> uh, Miriam, I think you might want to check your headpiece for demonic possession. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was the cape. <laughs> that was just okay. Uh, yeah, we never use this, but yeah, we we can use that to save and go over here anywhere. Or once before we used it, I think. And then we need to restart the game. Let's see. Hmm. I think, I think these two are new. Like I don't cool. remember seeing these two at the start, but uh, as always, I could be wrong. Let's see, boss rush mode, speed run mode, randomizer mode, boss revenge, and classic mode. Hmm. Serious? Hmm. <laughs> what? What else should I have expected? Did they, did they really just make the entire game in 8 bits? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, this, this is totally. <laughs> yeah, this is original. This is the original Castlevania <laughs> done in this game. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's see how far we can go with this. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the little intro bit was just a shot-for-shot -shot recreation of one of the original Castlevanias. No, one of the okay, original Castlevanias intros. Yeah! <laughs> what the Really went through Cotabania on this one. Yeah, they 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 got the original creator, right? I'm pretty sure he is. So of course they went full Castlevania. I thought the, the original creator of Castlevania was the one kickstarted and will thing. This is all entirely new area. I don't remember anywhere in the castle having a red carpet and flooring like this. Yeah. Oh, wait, it, it's the fountain. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> That's... 
the people who made this were just are just absolute fans of you know, of this series, huh? Yeah. I guess if they added it as a home after to it, or it was the original plan, perhaps. No, uh, I I think all of this is extra. Maybe if maybe they added this as a uh, <clears throat> a stretch goal. Uh, hello. That would make sense. And also, don't forget, we're going to try out some hits here as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I I fully expect us to die at the end of this. And there was uh, there was something else that I wanted to show off, but uh, the piano kind of let me a bit flabbergasted. But yeah, I let's see, can that hit? okay, that that's, <laughs> that somehow still hit. Uh, that that picture during the credits with uh, OG. Uh, yeah, that that's the high jump ability that you get from you know, combining the double jump with the with the bovine plume, and yeah, I managed to unlock that one because yeah, th those same those same golden cows that would drop the meat for the exquisite steak also drop the plumes. Ah, I was right. Just an hour earlier, I kept the me, but before me, the wrong guru. And Dracula looks rather big mouth and chubby. No, oh, no, no, no time for fat shaming. <laughs> and you took his heart. And what do I have the heck to think of that damn old song? Last Christmas I gave you a heart. <laughs> the next day you gave it away. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, there's a lot more to go. Okay. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm not. Walk. I'm not going to cover all of that. Yeah. Uh, if I. I think I said there's another whole much to meet there. The way you walk. Yeah. The the entire movement actually. Yeah. And... She looked very grumpy. <laughs> but yeah, that's how the characters in the first Castlevanias moved around. There's a lot more weight to them as well. Okay, basically... Basically, a, yeah, it's a sound mode. Every sound in the game is in there. Always nice to have that in a game. Let's see. Wait. Push it clear to get a teacup? Where did, where did the tea, teacup come from? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I might as well quickly show it off that the high jump. Yeah, not that. There we go. Yeah, it's basically a back step, yeah, back step in the air. Uh, you can use it continuously. <laughs> So, yeah. So, that might in part be because I've upgraded it quite a bit as well. Actually, not as much as I thought. Hm. It allows you to jump a second time while in midair. I think it might be a bit broken then, because I. Yeah, this is more than just a second. Up and away! Okay. Let's see, what time are we at now? About one, f an hour 40. Uh, yeah, I might get pulled away because there is a family thing going on downstairs. I think I've spoken of this before. But yeah, yeah basically we have a family friend who is a barber. And well, with the whole lockdown stuff and such, uh, you can't have, go to the barber, but in this case you can get the gar bar barber to come to you. <laughs> Were you to say gardener? Almost, yeah. 
Are you sure they are Barbara, not a gardener? Yeah, we don't have much of a garden anyways. More of you asking a gardener to do your haircut, which would be concerning. Oh, hello. Backer ID. Okay, that, that must be codes given out specifically to backers of the Kickstarter. And, well, I didn't back it, so I don't have that. I You could probably look those up online, but I'm not going to right now, because now we're going to play as Zangetsu. Okay, just quickly throw that out at us instead. Let's see, slash, fear slash, shotgun knives. Okay, swap between me the elements. Uh. Hey, okay, yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not going to remember all of those. So, this is this basically us playing through the game as Zangetsu instead? <laughs> and I don't want to know, can he use other weapons or that than his only weapon? Probably his only one. Let's see. Hopefully, he can. Okay, now it yeah, it is his only weapon, but at least it lets you check up on these here. Warp room. So means he can't use the uh, armor. Oh, we had to level up. Mm. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything for any armor or weapons. Okay, oddly empty room. Okay, this... I, I was... I was sort of expecting an entire side story, but no, it's just... You can play through the entire game as Zangetsu. This one, what is so or part of the game, at least, because I'm pretty sure the Galleon was bigger than that. Uh, no, no, we're... I was thinking we were already at the boss. Hmm. Well, we still have of the boss outside. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, a bit disappointing, but would still be fun for well people who have already played through and want to do even more. Yeah. <laughs> well, play as the absolute badass that is Zenketsu. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, this will still be the last stream of Bloodstained Rich Left the Night. Yeah, but if that's all right, story here, then. Yeah, it would be sad if there's no fight over here for. That would be a bit more in depth look on him. Yeah, yeah a bit disappointing, but. Uh, we, there's nothing we can do about that. And we might find out more about Zangetsu in, well, the... I, I keep forgetting the subtitle of, the, of the, the other games. Are they? I know they have something to do with the moon. But it's not Rachel of the Moon. Shadow of the Moon, perhaps? Oh, come on, you don't even sit down. Wait, this is Miriam. Yeah, that's because the name the name I entered at the start, or well didn't enter at the start. But yeah, otherwise it just seems to be the this entire same game, only you're playing as Zengetsu. Nice, but uh, not really what I expected. Then again, 
this this is this game has been great since the start pretty much. <laughs> yeah, it just cuts your guard again. I didn't remember that she went already up here there. Or I may have forgotten that. I think I may only now realize that when I may see that in the past, I didn't realize that was part of her. Also, another fun little thing I found out on TV Tropes, apparently in the demo, in an E3 demo of this game, or maybe E3, maybe somewhere else, uh, anyways, a public demo of this game, this uh, box glitched out and got stuck. And yeah, that of course annoyed a lot of people, and then people started making, <laughs> started making fan art of the demon box that was <laughs> blocking your path. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Yep, it's not so. Um, was that actually saved? Okay, let, let's let's take on this boss and then call it. I. Well, we will have a cutscene in this case. Boss. Yeah, nope, no nope. cutscene. <laughs> Okay, yeah, Zengetsu mode is basically just to have some fun. If <laughs> okay, that that was different there because I think originally Miriam was the one that said that line. Um. <laughs> But yeah, th this is just a fun little side uh, thing where you can just power through. This is probably why they said that they recommend you to play with Miriam first before playing with him. Yeah. Yeah, there's no one here even. Hmm. Okay, a bit odd because I'm pretty sure people were supposed to be here. Yeah, but they're gonna hit. He, he can't buy... He can't even buy, use items, can he? Nope. 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 <laughs> so okay. yeah, this is just a fun little side thing. Yeah. Yeah, slightly, a bit sad. But... Uh... Let's take he explains why they recommend you to play as Miriam first before playing with him. What is what is with the the teacup? Yeah, what as well. Okay, this is the uh, randomizer. Uh, okay. Let's... Yeah, getting cold, so they're probably getting impatient with me downstairs. Okay, so All right. I, I've never I've heard of randomizer games, where basically, yeah, where items are dropped and such, um, are just completely mixed around. So you you could like find an end game thing at the start. Yes, yes, coming. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm. Maybe. A, Maybe something to add to just a little try here and there as a backup for yeah, just shitty games for something Sunday. That that list yeah. is getting a bit big, and so far we haven't really had too many games that we wanted to bail out on. Yeah, well, if we had that one day, we had a few, many actually. Yeah, and some that they didn't want to work with, but yeah, I think I'm just going to set up some specific limits now that on something Sunday if I'm trying new games I'll try two specific ones only those two and if they both suck yeah, then we just move on to one of our backups yeah sounds like a plan yeah and yep this will be get added to that yep. um, and it, we won't be we won't be trying to go for ending it would just be for fun yeah 
But for now, though, I have my own little... Uh, I have my own killer barber to uh, face. <laughs> yeah, and only 10 minutes of stream. So... Yeah. So, a bit of a shorter uh, stream. Not uh, the best, I'd probably assume. But still, let's have a look at if there is anyone watching. Paulina93, thank you for watching, Paulina. And, of course, anyone else who's been watching now, later on. Uh, later, and of course, as always, special thanks to Turkir. Oh, you're most welcome. And yeah, uh, hmm, yes. I've already partially forgotten what I said, what I do for Saturday, but yep, yeah, Saturday. Let's try a grounds again uh, for an hour. But let's just make it as something Saturday. For me. <laughs> and but as always, thanks again and until next time, but until then, until then. Be safe folks! <laughs> <laughs>